this is Magnar and welcome back to my modding tutorial series for Rome 2 Total War. Uh, in this episode I'm going to show you how to create a normal map for a piece of equipment or something that you've created. Uh, what a normal map is, it creates a 3D look to a 2D texture essentially. Um, now this tutorial isn't specific to Rome 2, you can use it for a number of other games which also have the orange um, normal maps. As you'll see shortly, the default normal maps that we make are kind of a bluey purple color. But Rome 2 and a couple of other games also uh, use an orange normal map, so you have to do a bit of converting. Now, in Photoshop it's fairly easy to do. All you do is you uh, copy the red channel, you go to the channels, you copy the red channel, you paste it in the alpha, uh, and then you make the entire red channel white and then you make the entire blue channel black it's not so simple and quick in GIMP unfortunately so I'm going to show you now how we're going to do it so first I'm going to go to where we have extracted all the vanilla uh, textures and models so man armor text textures Okay, and you can see here there is the diffuse which we kind of, we worked with in the last episode. Adding this normal to the game, this normal texture is exactly the same as you did with the diffuse in the last episode. If you want to, if you can't remember how to do that, and you want to refresh it, just watch the last episode, and it'll be exactly the same. I'm not going to go into that in this one because it's more just about creating the normal map. Um, okay, so you can see here it's orange. So what we're going to do, let's go with this one. We're going to open this up with GIMP. Don't load the map maps. We'll generate them automatically later. Okay. Um, and there's your diffuse. So we're going to firstly, first you need to before we go further. Uh, there's a link below. You need to get the GIMP uh, normal map plugin before we start. And once you have that we can con continue. We go to filters, we go to map and then normal map and you get here a little preview of what your normal map is going to look like. Like I said it's going to be a blue purple originally and we're going to have to change it. Um, you can screw around with all the figures here, you can invert stuff and you can just get an idea of what it's going to look like in a little preview. You can also do a 3D preview on that and kind of move it around and you can see how it kind of gives a, it's a 2D image but it's got that kind of 3D look to it. We don't need that. Okay. So I'm just going to generate the, the normal map, default normal map. I'm not going to go into the details. And then yeah now we have to turn it into an orange one. So the way we do that is we're going to go over here into our channel dialog and we're going to select the red one, right click and go duplicate channel and it'll appear down here. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to click here on the in the layers dialog uh, and then we're going to go to colors, levels and here in the channel we're going to select the red which we just duplicated in the channel dialog and we're going to change the output level to make the red into white. So we take the black arrow here and we're going to drag it over to where the white arrow is. So obviously here is darker and here is lighter. So drag it all the way over. Okay. And now we have a nice pink color. Uh, like our Lunothorax in the last episode actually. Next thing we're going to do I don't want that. Let's go to colors, levels again. And this time we're going to select the blue. And the blue we're going to do the opposite. We don't. We want it to take the white arrow here and we're going to drag it all the way over to the black. And there's your orange. And if you look here, the blue is black and the red is white. The last thing we have to do is we click on in the layers dialog, click on our layer, right click and go add layer mask and then we select channel 
and then the red channel that we've copied. Let me add that. Right click again and we're going to merge them together. And now we can export it or save it. Uh, to get the DDS format we have to click on export as or export. So let's do that. You can see here there'll be a whole list of different file types. We want DDS, which is right there. And then we're going to export it to our WIP folder. So where are we now? Tutorial, no, not vanilla extracted. We want WIP. Right, models man. We want to have the same directories, but just in our WIP folder. So armor. Let's see, it matches up. Now let's change it and call it uh, tutorial. Then I thought I'd say, well, it's not a diffuse; it's a normal, so we can change that. Just I mean, we don't doesn't matter what you call it, but we're going to write normal in the name just so it's immediately obvious, especially if we're not looking um, at this folder in a thumbnail. So if we're looking here, it helps having it written as normal gloss map diffuse etc okay so we've got that let's export it uh, the here you can see all the different types of compression DXT1 will be things like um, patterns for shields and stuff like that a few other things uh, and we're going to use DXT5 here and we also want to generate MIP maps maps are for when as your camera pulls away you get a smaller different uh, sized images so it helps with performance okay and it's extracted now what we can do to make sure that we've got the right we've done it correctly we can check the file size so the file size we want should be the same as the normal map for this uh, texture so let's have a look at the file size here, 341 kilobytes, and that's what we should get if we look in our WIP folder. Also, it should look like this kind of orange. Yeah, look at the orange, it's very similar. Um, and the file size is 341. There we go, so it's all done. Um, if you don't do this layer here, the orange here will be very much darker orange. Uh, another thing is, I don't know if you can see here, but see how this is pointing out and this is going in here? That's because I didn't invert, I think, the x axis. So you can play around with inverting and scaling and all that kind of stuff to get the effect that you like. Um, and that's all there is for that. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.